Good morning, everyone. It's Francis. This morning, I received from uh, my fellow researcher, Orange Eye, three images he took this morning at approximately 4 a.m. Uh, we can look precisely image three of a series of three images was taken at 11.43.35 UTC. Mayhill, New Mexico is minus 7, so that's 4.43 a.m. on March 6th, March 6th, 2012. 4.43.35 a.m. in Mayhill, New Mexico, minus 7 UTC time. Coordinates for image 3. 1401 21.83 RA declination plus 59 63.29.3 we'll click on 2 we'll run through the same information image taken on March 6 2012 at 1141.28 UTC time or 441.28 uh, mountain time Minus 7, Mayhill, New Mexico. RA 1401, 22.11. Declination plus 59, 36.26.1. This was taken with the uh, T11 telescope at itelescope.net. T11. Let's see if it says it here. It says here still the Gross telescope. But now it's itelescope.net T11. <coughs> and we'll see one more. Scroll down. It was taken on March 6, 2012 at 1139.21 UTC or 439.21 local time Mayhill, New Mexico. Coordinates RA 1401, 23.4, declination plus 59, 63, 15.3. And again, same telescope. It was using <coughs> an R filter or red filter binning twice. I've not uh, flipped any of the images. Well, you can do a blink. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And this is the movement of the background stars over the three images. What we are looking for is 2012 DA14. And what we'd, we'd be looking for is something moving across the sky. And this is generally in the center of the image where the object is located or would be located. These are taken 90 seconds, 90 second exposures. I've taken images like this and uh, for the comets in the past and have been unable to see the object See some dashing around we'll look at the movement of the other stars how the, their pinpoints will stay It says a little swaying back and forth, but we'll just have to pay attention to that. We can still see here 
center of the image is going to be over, somewhere over here. I don't see it moving like 433 arrows. This is a nice picture. We got a galaxy here. We're going to be plate solving this uh, these images through astrometry.net, um, discovering uh, precisely where the object should be if uh, we are unable to see it. It's important to know again is even if we don't see it there's a couple of things going on here um, we're getting the coordinates of where it should be that we can confirm with the coordinates that were given by the uh, International Astronomical Union we can keep an eye on this part of space we can learn more about it where it's coming from we can begin to confirm our own orbital uh, paths and diagrams as soon as the object becomes visible. When it becomes visible, we'll be able to do astrometry on it and find out its exact coordinates. If those exact coordinates are matching, uh, changing, or altered from the coordinates that are given to us. At this time, I cannot tell you what these star, which stars these are, but we will in the near future be diving more into these images. We're going to get back to watching objects in space. Uh, thank you to our friend Orange Eye for submitting these photos to the research. Um, I'm thankful to have friends who are helping and uh, I want to uh, let you know that we are looking. This is the space where 2012 DA4 should be. Right in the center of the image will be the coordinates that the telescope pointed to somewhere in this area. Three images taken 90 seconds apart uh, may not give us the movement uh, that will show up immediately. It's always nice when we can just see something moving. But what we can do now is continue following the coordinates that are given to us, taking pictures, waiting uh, to see if the asteroid shows up for us. I'll stop this for right now.
Okay, that's the inspection for right now. We'll talk to you soon. This is Francis out.